There are some important similarities between right-wing illiberals in Europe and the United States. For example, on some of the basic agenda items of right-wing parties in Europe and ultra-conservatives in the United States, we see similar approaches to anti-immigration, to questions about gender equality, economic nationalism is popular and so forth. So we certainly feel certain lines of continuity among right-wing parties in the United States and right-wing forces uh, in, in Europe. But they're not all the same. In the first case, there are some issues on which they actually differ quite a bit. Uh, climate change in some cases, where the United States takes quite a rejectionist view on the right of climate change policies. Gun ownership, very popular among right-wing forces in the United States absolutist positions on abortion and so forth. But more deeply, the role of right-wing illiberalism in the United States has a much longer and more complex history than in many European countries. It has to do with issues, think back to the Civil War in the United States over racial inclusion, and then the right in the 1930s fighting the New Deal in the United States and ultra-conservatism in the 1950s, McCarthyism and on through the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and so forth. And so in the United States, we see the current trend of far-right sort of leaning of the Republican Party is really the working out of some deeper divisions in American politics that have existed probably for 200 years. Whereas in Europe, um, they're relatively uh, sort of a new emergence in a number of places of right-wing parties. It's more about cultural identity, in the 21st century, uh, the economic situation of today, of course, sometimes harks back to the 1930s and periods before, but actually, in my view, it has a quite a different role in politics than it does in the United States.